Okay, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Speakeasy Collectibles. Um, boy, today I got a good one for you. Uh, ECC's 112th scale T-Rex maquette done by Stan Winston Studios. Um, I ordered this in August and just arrived, so a little bit over five months, I think. Um, excellent turnaround. Um, I want to get right into this. I'm super excited, but I just want to give a little shout out to ECC on their packaging. Um, this is one of the best packagings I've, I've ever seen done. Um, I really like the fact that they use the um, industrial straps with the metal fasteners and uh, just a heavy duty box. It's almost like a toy chest. So anyways, good job there. You know, we always like good packaging. So but anyways, uh, enough of that. Let's get into this. Okay, so just wanted to go through some of the stuff that comes with this. Um, so first off, we'll open this up. Uh, I believe this is gonna be the certificate, ECC Elite Creature Collectibles. As you can see on the bottom there, I got 177 of 700. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Beautiful. Got the certificate, edition size 177 to 700, painter sculptor with their signature on it. Um, you got the ECC uh, stamp there. You got the holographic stamp, which you can, you know, you got the Q code on there so you can pull this up. Stan Winston, Jurassic Park, 30th anniversary. This is really cool. Okay, and then next up, you also get a plaque. Uh, same signatures, uh, something you can just, kind of a proximity piece you can put right by it. Um, I didn't want to take it out of the plastic. I don't want to get fingerprints on it because this is, this is going to go back in the box for me at the moment until I find a place, so. But uh, nice weight to it. Got some felt on the bottom there, so. Beautifully done. Okay, so if you can't see these, it looks like you get little brochures to kind of put on the base anywhere you want. Very nicely done. Kodak Gold Plus Film, that's really cool. And this one actually, this one opens up. So it gives you the, gives you the map of Jurassic Park. Really cool. <laughs> Everything there. Very nice. Okay, and you also get, uh, you get some leaf uh, replacement parts. Um, these leaves are super fragile on here. Some of them are cracking off. Um, but, you know, it's just, the base is kind of a, a bunch of messy, uh, stuff going on anyway so the you know broken leaves don't really matter to me but uh anyways in case you need some just they come with these okay so here is the base um the base is 14 inches all around very small however that's not going to matter because the t-rex is massive so um not too much going on here pretty simple you just got the two uh footprints uh they're filled in with acrylic, so it gives it that water effect. You got leaves across here. Um, really nicely done. Uh, you got your rock, you got your Jurassic Park emblem here, and then you got another one here. I don't know what this is. This, is it like a DNA strand symbol or? Unfortunately, I, I should know this, I just don't. But I'll have to look that up but not too heavy. Then you go here, you got just kind of a wood, pretty simple. Go to the bottom here. And once again, 177 of 700. 10 artist proofs were also produced, numbered AP1 through AP10. Not sure what that means, but uh, cool nonetheless. So, 
Okay, so let's get the T-Rex on here. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, ECC's 112th scale T-Rex maquette done by Stan Winston Studios. Words cannot express how happy I am to have this. Um, she's a big piece. She's about 40 inches across. Um, she's about 17, 18 inches high. Um, but that doesn't matter. Um, very excited to own this. Um, this is a this is a different type of piece. Um, obviously, this is done by Stan Winston Studios, so that right there is gonna, as far as I'm concerned, that's gonna conquer most pieces for me. Um, what this piece is here is it's not just a statue. This is the maquette that was presented to Steven Spielberg in order to get the T-Rex green lit so they can build the big one that was used on screen. So that right there to me, this has screen lineage. Um, and, you know, most statues that are, that are made, those are just, those are sculpted renders. Now I'm not saying they're bad, believe me, I own, I own the Rotunda by Chronicles, I love it. That depicts one of the greatest scenes in cinematography history, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but this is just, this is on a whole different level. This is something, um, again, screen lineage. So you have history here. Um, now I know, I know the, the one that was, that they built was the uh, one fifth scale. So it was a little bit bigger, but I've seen this in some of the behind the scenes, I've seen the smaller scale unpainted. I've never seen one painted though. So I don't know if anyone's has any pictures or if you can let me know, I'd, I'd be really, you know, um, curious to see what it looked like. I, I looked everywhere, I couldn't find it, but I saw on be, the behind the scenes, I saw this actual smaller version. So um, it was done, but I've just never seen it painted up until this. So um, again, I, I am beyond words. Um, this is just a dream piece for me. This is uh, to me the be all end all for uh, Jurassic Park statues as far as the T-Rex goes. Um, except for the one fifth. If you own that one fifth from uh, Chronicles, that thing was a beast. That's that's a good one. <laughs> I just didn't have any. I don't have any room for that thing, but uh, I guess that can rival this one a little bit. So, um, well, it will rival. It is probably the superior one of them all. So, but um, anyways, um, you know, we'll, I want to get some close-ups. Uh, you know, something that popped out on this was the glass eyes. Um, you know, the the details on it are just fantastic inside the pupils and then you got the uh, translucent uh, resin teeth really nicely done the paint job on this is great and um, you know let's let's get some close-ups of this but uh, god I hope I hope all in every Jurassic Park fan got a chance to get this I really do I know it was rather on this on this expensive side um, but um, you know well worth it you know, especially if you're a huge fan, um, you know, this is just a, this is a dream piece. It really is. So anyways, let's get some close-ups of this and uh, check her out. All right, everybody. So here we are. So we're going to start off with the base here. Very nicely done. So the base has got some dry spots and some wet spots. Really nicely done. You got the moss. You know, again, you got that one emblem. I still don't know what that is, that symbol is, but I'll figure it out. And you got under the T-Rex. Now, this is really cool. I don't know if you noticed that, that little branch in there. I thought maybe it was a mistake, but I think that was intentional. So it looks like it's in the water there. Rocks are nicely done. The leaves are fantastic. The moss is great. This is really just a... You know, it's, it's, it's not a crazy base, it's pretty simple, but man, it's beautifully done. And then over here is a good old Jurassic Park symbol there. So then we'll go with the feet here, nicely done. Scales are great, nails look awesome. Go to the second one here. Nicely done. Love the scale work on this. Just very detailed nicely. Um, 
It's a leg here. We'll go down the tail. Gotta be careful. Whoop. All right. Very nicely done. Again, the paintwork is really nice. And what I like about it, it's really like, so if, I mean, hopefully you can see this. It's kind of like a, a soft finish here. And then when you get up top to the back, it's glossy as if like the rain's hitting it on the top part, but the sides are staying dry. So it's not super saturated. Like some statues, it's glossy all around. So I like how they do it. It's a nice touch. You know, matches the base. I mean, as you can see, the base is all wet, but there are some dry spots. So, you know, it makes it seem like it's, you know, raining, but not too crazy. Yeah, that's here. Got the legs nicely done. Oh. Might have a little crack there, I don't know. But that's okay. Not gonna bother me any, am I? This ain't going anywhere. She's staying with me. Is he done? You got the fingernails here. Go up to the head. I like this. You got some, there's like some pink underneath right here. It's really nicely done. And here it goes. Those eyes, incredible. I, I really hope you can pick this up on camera. Trying to stay as still as I could. But, um, you got the teeth. You know, again, it's like you got this little gloss here, and then it's just, it's really nicely done. You can see inside the mouth there. Love these teeth. Lots of detail to this. Very nicely done. Go down. There. And that's pretty much it. Um, Again, ECC knocked it out the park. Stan Winston Studios, as always, the legends just did a fantastic job on this. Um, I have no complaints. This is this is a beautiful piece, dream piece, and uh, I can honestly tell you this is going to stay in the collection for hopefully ever. But uh, anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, if anyone has a picture of the uh, the one done too that was all painted up in this size, uh, let me know. I'd like to see what it looked like. But um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, till next time, uh, have a great day. Bye now.